：第一，严格把握放单位条件；第二，注意八点钟以后受寒露风影响；第三，二十二点以后注意空中及地面的能见度变化。报完毕。At 6 p.m. on November the 10th, when most people started to enjoy their leisure time after work, for the 16 girls, the most intensive part of the day just began. After making debut in the National Day military parade, China's first group of 16 female fighter pilots came back to their training routine. Now they are preparing for their first individual night flying, an important subject for female pilots. Before that, they only did daytime flying on their own, and it was six months ago. Individual night flying is a challenge to psychological status. You have to check the instrument carefully while referring to the directing lights on the ground. But I am not nervous. The air current at night is relatively stable, and the wind is mild. To some degree, this is better condition than daytime flying. I feel very calm because I'm well prepared. We have been through a lot of systematic trainings and theoretic studies. I believe I can manage. Graduated on April the second, the 16 female fighter jet pilots took the task of flying the K-8 during the National Day military parade. Now they are back to school. The PLA Air Force Number、no. Three Aviation Academy to pick up the remaining courses, including the individual night flying, aerobatic flying. Girls are usually afraid of walking in the darkness. So you can imagine the difficulty for the 16 female fighter jet pilots to fly alone at night. This will be a breakthrough for the flying skills as well as a review for our trainings. Since 1951, 328 female pilots have joined the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force. Virtually all of them fly transporters. In 2005. The PLA Air Force recruited the first group of female fighter pilots among over 200,000 female high school graduates. After strict selection in terms of academic learning and flying practice, the 16 female pilots finally stood out. Recruiting female fighter pilots is the symbol of the rapid development of China Air Force and growth of the national power. Female pilots share the same training program outline with their male counterparts, but different training methods were applied to them according to women's physical and psychological characters, such as the NTG training and the physical strength improvement, which are normal courses for male pilots but a challenge for females. It's really tough. For some training programs, they are really beyond my capability. And I almost wanted to give up, but I tell myself I must make it. With determination, courage, and perseverance, these female pilots overcame difficulties one by one and successfully passed all the examinations and became qualified pilots. We are the best. <laughs> all the hard work paid off. After 126 days of strict training for the National Day Parade. They impressed the world with their flawless performance when they flew over the Tiananmen Square to wrap up the air show on October the first. The air show featured 151 airplanes, including the advanced J-10, J-11 fighters. It was a sunny day in Beijing, but few people knew that at the airport east to the capital, where they took off, the visibility was only 1.3 kilometers. When I heard from my earphone that we flew right over Tiananmen Square, I couldn't stop my tears. But I have to focus on the flying, so I even didn't have a glimpse of the happy crowds on the ground. They showed their enormous pressure that the peers could hardly imagine, not to mention the great responsibility and high expectation. Taking part in the parade helped them to be more mature in physical, 
psychological and operative aspects. Flying under such bad weather conditions requires delicate operational skills. During the training for the parade, we've prepared for it. Sometimes we practiced landing when we couldn't see the runway at a height of 100 meters or even 80 meters. Their good performance in the National Day Parade made the 16 pilots under spotlight both home and abroad. They became national superstars. However, when people admire their heroic spirit, they somehow neglect the fact that the female pilots are only in their early 20s. They have the same dreams as their peers do, and they also long for true love. Every time before taking off, I will apply some sun cream to my face. I'm afraid to be tanned. We can't like I know as a female pilot, I won't have much time for my family. So I hope my future husband can understand that and support me by taking care of the family. And I will also try my best to be a good wife and mother, no matter how busy I will be. The 16 female pilots have created history, and they will continue their career to get themselves prepared for new missions. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs>